This is the Being Your Own CEO Success Circle. And this morning, we're going to continue our conversation about Google programs. My name is Lowell Ann, and in my coaching and consulting work, I help solopreneurs get and stay focused and motivated as we take their business to the next level. And we just use some pretty simple structures and easy technology. So we will be right back after this. Greetings wherever you are and welcome to Being Your Own CEO. This is a weekly success circle intended as a support for solopreneurs. We get together because we really enjoy each other's company, but we also love exchanging ideas and information and doing lots of experimentation. Um, we all give and receive support. You can discover what we stand for by reviewing our operating principles on my website page, beingyourownceo.com. So I want to welcome our viewers out there this morning and um, invite them to um, tell us they're there and let us know um, where you are and what you do and uh, anything that you're excited about. So now it's time for us to introduce the members of our panel this morning. So good morning all. And um, let's see, who shall I pick on this morning? <laughs> um, <clears throat> usually I go with the first person that uh, comes on, but uh, that's always Vivek and that doesn't seem fair to pick on the same person every morning. <laughs> So, Bill, you were the second one there. How would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, I'll take one for the team and go first. Um, <laughs> good morning, everyone. My name is Bill Graham. I'm coming to you from Ontario, Canada. Um, my new company is Shy Guy Productions, where we provide complete live streaming services from a one-click production to whatever assets, uh, training, and resources you may need to uh, do it yourself. Oh, you've got you, you've got your uh, new logo up. How how cool is that? <laughs> well, as we were saying before, it's today's version. I'm still modifying and working. I'm still a little bit busy, and uh, so yeah. But it's <laughs> yeah, good. Per perfect can be the enemy of good, as we were saying earlier. Yes, we were. We were talking about how perfection can really get, um, make us procrastinate and put things off. And uh, yeah, <laughs> right on. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad you made it here this morning, Bill. Me too. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, right me. on. And um, Anna, welcome back. We haven't seen you for a while, and it's just great to uh, see you back. So. And you told us a little bit about what you're doing, and I think we need um, the the viewers need to hear some of that as well. So um, do include <laughs> it. Do include some of the things that you've been up to. Yes, I'm a busy little uh, Canadian beaver. That's for sure. <laughs> Um, well, uh, my my brand is uh, the Solo Snowbird. I started that a, a few years ago, basically as a blog, because I'm solo and I'm a snowbird at that time. Now I'm fairly well full time in Mazatlan, Mexico. And from that blog, now it's transformed into now I have a, a column in the local English paper. 
I have um, a huge activity group that I run uh, during, and of course this is my busiest time of the year, <laughs> and we do um, activities as, as a group. I do allow couples into my group, <laughs> but I do also have singles only events, but uh, it's been quite successful. So uh, yeah, from that, of course, there's uh, offshoots as far as business goes. So it's uh, all around, it's working out quite well for me to, to live here in beautiful Mazatlan. <laughs> Wow, I, I'm I'm so impressed because I remember when you first started when you st first started this idea. Uh, I mean, how many years ago was that? Because you used to come to uh, to this uh, success circle, and I remember you sort of toying yeah, with the, toying with the idea. Oh, this is well, it's. I, I was on a learning curve for everything, you know, this <laughs> blogging thing, and then I got into well before that I had got into. Uh, website building and stuff so I still do a little uh, you know do um, work in that area but uh, it just snowballs you know things just fall into your lap and you just put it out there that's isn't that what the secret is all about you just put it out there <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> So yeah. it's just it's just great to uh, to hear about your successes, uh, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, just for everybody else's benefit, the last time we saw Anna uh, in the success circle, I think you were you were here in BC this summer. I, uh, no, I was in uh, yeah, I was in BC, but I also I think I would. I don't know if I joined you from Alberta or not, but I um, traveled around BC and Alberta mm -hmm. this last summer, and I'll do that again uh, this next coming each summer. I try and spend in Canada visiting family and friends and I bought myself a little red PT cruiser so I'm you can't miss me <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's so, yeah. so cool boy you it's you... great to be back by the way and see all familiar faces here <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's cool okay so let's see Vivek how would you like to introduce yourself namaste my name is uh, Vivek namaste Vivek <laughs> namaste <laughs> My name is Vivek Anand, and uh, Vivek Technology is my brand. I believe in simplicity. I believe in simplicity and thinking different. And uh, simplicity is the ultimate in sophistication. So um, go through a lot of sophistication to achieve the simplicity. So that's what my tagline is unify, simplify, amplify life. Uh, at the moment, I am in uh, England, UK. It's four degrees centigrade outside, um, nearly freezing. <laughs> so inside it's okay. It's I've, I've turned on the heaters and uh, so on. You might hear the heater blowing hot air uh, quite often, but uh, Yes, then that's about no central heating in in the UK, right? <laughs> We've always read. I've always read about the U uh, the UK that they, that they don't seem to have central heating. <laughs> so the trouble is, many houses are quite big, um, <clears throat> and central heating will and. and just about two people living in such a big house, which means you heat up the entire house, you're wasting a lot of energy. So yeah. heat up the house, room where you are. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, boy, I'm, I'm, uh, mind you, I'm, I don't think it ever goes down to minus 20 or 25 in the UK, does it? No, no, no. it doesn't, no. <laughs> unlike anyway, I, unlike I Canada. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another bit of news, I am actually now using a mobile service provider. So it's a mobile network that I'm on. And I don't know how good the quality is or uh, how bad it is or whatever. So It's looking just fine, Vivek. It, it's a mobile network. It's not mobile phone network, but I can take this router anywhere i can sit in uh, mountain top and be connected to the internet and uh... wow <laughs> <laughs> well i was listening to the radio here the other day here and somebody got lost up on, on a not a, not a huge mountain but they got lost they were out out hiking and 
and the um, public service warning was don't just take your cell phone with you thinking that you're going to be able to access your maps from your phone because mm -hmm. up there you're not going to be able to access your cell yep. phone so take yep. a yep. take a real map with you <laughs> <laughs> So, oh dear. So that's uh, maybe that would be the thing. Carry, carry your rotor with you. <laughs> We're nuts. We're just nuts. <laughs> oh dear. So um, I and I, I get, getting back to your uh, your concept of simplicity. I I think we're going to touch upon that a little bit this morning in a very kind of. Um, different sort of way so um so i'm very happy you're here thank you <laughs> you're right on glad to be here right on so javita how would you like to unmute yourself and introduce yourself um uh, javita's here for the first time uh visually <laughs> yes visually <laughs> uh-oh i think we've got a freeze up Oh. No, no, you're fine. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm Shubhangi from India, and I'm a yoga and uh, Reiki master teacher, and I'm very glad to be here. Right on. And where in India are you? I'm from Mumbai. Mumbai. Oh. Yes. Oh, cool. I think you have been to Mumbai, no? I, I have been to Mumbai, yes. <laughs> Yeah, um, and I remember leaving early because it was so hot and humid there. I, I was yeah. <laughs> I was living in the Arctic at the time, and boy, the contrast was amazing. <laughs> it's, it's lucky you didn't go to Chennai or Madras. Yeah. <laughs> I was on that time. Um, Madras, um, um, one of my colleagues used to say, in Chennai it is hot, hotter, and hottest. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Those are the three seasons. Yeah. Oh, right on. So, <laughs> um, so uh, Javita, you do Reiki and teach yoga both? Yeah, both. Oh, right on. Uh, do you, is there a specific style of yoga that you teach? Yeah, I'm teaching Ashtanga yoga. Aha, uh -huh. right on. Oh, because the, uh, there are different styles of yoga. Yes. But um, particularly Ashtanga yoga is my speciality. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Well, so I'm so happy that you're here. And um, um, I mean, I've, I've, uh, you and I've stumbled on each other in a few different places, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> haven't we? <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm so happy that you, um, that you made it. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, right on. So now let me see who else is here. Oh, I see Fred. You're still here. I thought maybe you were already on your way to Australia. Not yet. Can you hear me? I didn't yes. have a chance to check. Yes, we can. And the internet here is a bit patchy. I just moved here, sort of moved in yesterday. So uh -huh. I had, well, I was trying to set things up and it says the internet's not so good, but if it's working, let me talk before it disappears. Again. <laughs> right, go ahead. Introduce yourself. I'm Fred Jones. I'm in uh, Colwood, which is part of Victoria on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. And I organize youth programs through ourfutureleaders.ca, which helps them improve their communication, leadership skills, give them self-confidence to be the leaders that our world needs, especially the way it's changing. So it's, I have a lot of fun with that. It's wonderful, wonderful time working with young people. Oh, that's that's just great, and I'm I'm sure you told me, but when it, when are you leaving for Australia? I should be here next week, but the following Tuesday I'm on a plane oh, to okay. Melbourne. Okay, right on. And then I'll be away for two, two months. I might be able to pop in, but it's something like three or four a.m. in the morning when you're meeting. Something ridiculous. <laughs> right. And I don't expect I, you to stay up all night. <laughs> no, but some, sometimes I wake up early, and if I do, I might just say hello, even if it's at the end of the meeting. I might. It depends. Yeah. I did it once, I think, last. Yes. Yes, you did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so maybe again we'll give it we'll see what happens okay but i'll be here probably next week and that'll be the last time i get back on the end of january so okay I might not see you 
Right. Well, you can always check in and, and watch the videos so you don't miss anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do that. I, do. Yes. I honestly do. I watch, I watch it because it's interesting to see who's there, what you're talking about. It's always interesting. So yeah. <laughs> well, I'm happy you're here, uh, Fred. <laughs> so I don't know who came first, uh, Alana or ne uh, Jay, but um, um, Alana, I'm going to give you the conch. Okay, just hang on. Yeah, hi everybody, Alana coming to you from Ireland and my company is ALB Digital Marketing Solutions where I help people with their websites and I also have a little side business, emptynesterblog.com. Um, that's been seriously neglected unfortunately, but I don't know which is better to get more work on one side or the other, but anyway. Um, yeah, nothing new and exciting here other than, you know, crappy weather, cold and rainy. And I was talking with a friend of mine in Paris. She would manage to get a gig for a year um, working in Paris. And uh, she sent me a message saying she saw her first snowflakes in Paris. And I thought, oh, my God, I don't know what that means for Europe because uh, oh. yikes. But, yeah. Climate change. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm happy I'm not making Thanksgiving dinner this week. So woohoo. <laughs> So, don't you you don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Ireland? Only under duress. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like for years, my for years, my daughter wanted me to celebrate it, and we did. And you know, her you know her friends got wind of it, and they wanted to see what the American Thanksgiving was all about. So, first it was one, then it was two, and next thing you know, there's six, and you know, it got big. So, luckily, she's in college now, and the rest of them are too. So. <laughs> So can you can you get turkey in Ireland? Yeah, we can get turkey in Ireland. Oh. But the thing is, too, you don't want to have. I, I don't know. It's probably just me, but I I don't enjoy having two turkey dinners so close together. You know, especially with all the work that's involved with the all right. pies and all that. All right. Because I'm a perfectionist, so I'm in the kitchen for days making pies, and I don't know. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> Well, you you uh, you missed our conversation earlier about the the um, the perils of perfectionism. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, right. I'm a sufferer. I'm... Right on. So glad you made it. Thank you. Right glad on. To be here. Oh, Jay, how are you doing? Have you got uh, you got two minutes in between uh, appointments these days? Four. <laughs> I got four minutes. <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Jay. My company is Magi Studios, and we help uh, people get started in the world of online marketing through coach consulting and training. Happy to be here, hailing from sunny Langford, and enjoying the time with you guys. Right on. Um, yeah. And by the way, uh, Fred, there's actually a chance I might be in Australia. Uh, in Sydney, Australia, on the 28th, uh, for a couple of days, I got uh, I got headhunted to do um, a search engine optimization conference. Cool. Uh, so I'm still working out the logistics to see if it's going to be worth me traveling there and back. So, but uh, uh, yeah, it's in Sydney. It's not in Melbourne, but um i have another friend that i might actually travel to melbourne to go see so i will uh, i will keep you in the loop oh cool that is um i wonder how they they found you did they find you on linkedin or where did they find you what's linkedin oh. <laughs> <laughs> no they i'm didn't sure find it was me. in a past success circle video <laughs> yeah, true. yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it was it was through uh, it was basically through uh, previous um, speaking engagements that I've done uh, wow. regarding SEO. So, right yeah. on. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Jay, what date did you say? Twenty eighth of what month? November. Oh, so I'm leaving on the fourth. In, in eight days from now. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving on the fourth of December. But I, it would have been funny if you and I met the first time. I'm in Colwood and you're in, in different Langford. Continent. Like, <laughs> but if we met in Australia for the first time. That would be insane. Just change your dates. Just change your dates. That would be insane. 
just so everybody else knows, I mean, uh, Fred and I uh, knew each other uh, uh, in this circle for a long time. What, what, for a year and a half before we actually met face to face here in Victoria. So, <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> so, uh, David, how are you doing this morning? Busy as a little beaver. Are you really? Work, work, work. Yes, work, work, work. Um, I'm with. Uh, uh, affordable websites for small businesses and United Country Stock Valley Realty. Um, I, in the last four or five days, it's very surprising things have taken off in the real estate business again. People are looking and trying to find homes. So if you have a home to list in Rock Falls, Illinois, I'd be glad to list it for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you know, busy is good. <laughs> yes. You just take it advantage. I might, make it, I might make it through to January. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> oh, dear. So uh, I, think I've, I think we've covered everybody who's here. And have I missed anybody? I don't think so. So um, um, the intention this morning was to um, continue our conversation about um, Google programs that we started last week. And um, we agreed this morning that we would do a little bit of a, an update uh, from our conversation about G Suite last week because um, uh, Vivek did a little bit of um, um, online searching and because we were, we were um, speculating what's going to happen if you're a G Suite user with this whole Google Plus thing. So, uh, Vivek, do you want to want to share what you found, um, just as a just as a quick update from our conversation last week? Uh, yeah, um, G Suite consists of uh, my, many services, twelve of which are called as core services. They are uh, shown here in this uh, slide that I'm uh, sharing calendar, directory, drive, Gmail, Google Plus, mm -hmm. Google Hangouts, groups for business, Hangouts, chat, Jamboard service. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a, it's a whiteboard uh, jam, I think stands for just a minute or something like that. Uh, it's a whiteboard where uh, um, el electronic whiteboard, uh, you draw things on it and uh -huh. the, yeah. you share, you share the board, the mm -hmm. people can see the board at the same time. Uh -huh. uh, Google keep, um, sites and tasks. Wow. So these are 12 services, which are part of the core G suite, um, suite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so the, the the point is, you see, the Google Plus is right there, right in the middle of all of it. So it's part of a core service. So that so, kind of that answers a little bit some of the questions that we had last week uh, when we were discussing this, whether um, because. Um, um, Google had announced that uh, Google Plus was going away for those um, people who were not enterprise people. So, yeah. I mean, we still have a number of questions uh, about what will be included and how you'll be able to share things. But uh, we just, when we found that uh, online, while we were having a discussion about that, um, Vivek and I, we found that um, he found that, and and we went, oh wow! If it's considered a core service, then it's it's not really going away a hundred percent. So yeah, yeah. and, and uh, th this is actually what, what I'm showing you now. Uh, what what I've been showing you now is a um, my domain admin screen. So the, the, this actually is a uh, place where they show the status of each service. Uh, that's what this uh, shows mm -hmm. here. So showing status for apps in all oh. organizational units. So um, this shows you 
uh, on the right side of this, which is not, uh, I, I had to chop it off to make this visible, mm -hmm. uh, readable rather. Uh, on that side, it, it's, uh, it tells you the status of each service. Is it uh, up or is it uh, is there something going on? Is there some problem with it? So uh, it's more of a dashboard where you see what's uh, going on. Mm -hmm. But the point is this. And, and the other thing is organizational units is a, a term that uh, G Suite uses um, with reference to enterprise customers. Mm -hmm. So you, you have multiple uh, departments. So each department can be, um, that they call, instead of calling it as department, they are calling it as organizational unit. So, uh, you can enable and disable these uh, individual services. That's what this uh, uh, box is for. Actually, you tick mark that and then you enable or disable that service for that particular organizational unit. So yeah. that's the whole idea there. But I'm just interested as a non G Suite user, that thing you were just sharing there, they have the Hangout chat with a little at sign in it. Mm -hmm. Has that always been the case, or is that an? I mean, that was one of the issues I always had with Google is they had three products that were called Hangouts, and they had the same icon for all three of them. Mm -hmm. So if that's something that they're changing, that's that's a big improvement. And I, for me, I think it's it's wonderful that they're going to keep G Plus, but I think we also have to remember that. For me, my biggest disappointment in losing G Plus was communities and collections. Yes. So yeah. I'm hoping that communities and collections will be maintained in there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we, at we, this we, point, we really don't know what G plus we're going to get in enterprise, I think. Right. Yeah. Um, the, the question marks are about uh, how easy it is to share information with the, the public people outside your mm -hmm. organization. Mm -hmm. uh, which is the case with the solopreneurs. You are a, a one man, one woman, one person band. So um, it's so uh, you anything you want to share, you'll have, you'll be sharing it with someone belonging to a different organization. So yeah. So, but but while you've got that up on the screen, I was in doing some something else yesterday, and I was noticing that. As a solopreneur, you can set yourself up as all of the uh, organizational units. So, yeah, all of them. Yeah. yeah. So, so there is a way to set that up uh, as a solopreneur. Yeah. Mm. So that's a that's an update that um, we wanted to uh, to make sure everybody was aware of uh, before we went on to uh, talking about other um, Google products and. Uh, Actually, as I was looking at that list, um, Bill, I, I was thinking about you um, when it said uh, uh, Sites is going to be there. Um, yeah, I know Sites has always been its own kind of entity. I didn't know that. Yeah. I presume it's just going to be incorporated in G Suite. It's not going to become. Yeah. It's not going to be Full reliant on G Suite. Yeah. I don't the know. Site sites is uh, uh, they started sites as a intranet for use within the company yeah. uh, but then they extended it or made it possible so that you can actually make the create a google site and have that as your uh, only website you can and that's what that. i've i've done i've actually chosen to go with google sites just because i don't have the back end experience to look after wordpress anymore and i can't afford to pay someone so for me google sites and the improvements i've seen in google sites over the past year are just incredible mm, right on it's a very easy way to to create mm -hmm. a site that's i think going to be searchable because it's in the google mm -hmm. domain um, and they're very easy to create now. Yeah. So, and uh, David, I see you waving. <laughs> yes. You just muted yourself, David. 
<laughs> David, you muted. Sorry. There. <laughs> um, Heidi's in chat, and she's got a long one. Um, she says, hi, everyone. Just coming in for a minute. Have my sh show in 30 minutes. I have a very bad experience with Google with G Suite in terms of getting the account back when I was suspended for who knows why. Wow. It took me two months. Now I give up. All Save all your dates of first access stipulations and initial contacts, people involved, who contributed last, etc. They want Oh they want so detailed information other than having the C name uh, record point to them. I couldn't give the exact answers to these questions. Who knows when I asked for getting <laughs> the G Suite? Sorry. I'm so sorry. that that reminds me, if I'm not, if um, I'm, I might be incorrect here, but I seem to remember that uh, Heidi was setting her site up uh, with G Suite as a, a nonprofit or something. She chose a slightly different approach than the rest of us have chosen, I think. So, um, uh, Heidi, yeah. let G us... Yeah, G Suite is supposed to be free for registered nonprofit organizations, but I think it does depend on... Um, it, it changes from country to country for uh -huh. what they consider as a non-profit and uh -huh. all that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. And there's probably um, more obligation to prove that you are a non-profit than an individual. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. I, I would say it's much easier to set up a, um, because uh, for a non-profit organization, uh, Google is not going to charge right. any money right. for the G Suite. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, um, even for solopreneurs, G Suite monthly subscription is, I think, five dollars. Yes, and I don't think five dollars is going to break your bank. Five right. dollars a month. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, so but I didn't want us to stay on the G Suite topic uh, because we because there were some other things that we wanted to cover. Yep. So, um, David, thank you for uh, sharing that um, with us. Um, I, what I wanted to throw out there was uh, a question to everybody. So, I mean, and, and this is not a G Suite question, just a Google Programs question. Which of the Google Programs do you like the most and do you use the most? And um, as we were kind of to chatting about it earlier, um, I shared that um, the one I, I certainly couldn't live without is mail. And then the second one was calendar. So I wondered about uh, everybody else in the in the group here. Is there any any uh, any one of the, the Google programs that um, you would say that you use the most and you couldn't live without? Anybody want to want to throw any anything uh, different? I, I, I would say mail, calendar, and drive, in that order. Ah, drive and Anna, I saw you waving. Yes, well, I've uh, been a huge fan of um, Google products, except for, and I got put off of this quite a while back. Uh, I know you guys are all fans. <laughs> um, Google Plus and Hangouts. I got sick and tired of them changing constantly, trying to relearn Hangouts or business Hangouts. No, then there was just not the non-business Hangouts. It was so confusing. Uh, forget that. I'm Zoom all the way now, Zoom US for these types of meetings. Mm -hmm. Forget that. The uh, Hangouts for anything. Forget Google Plus. I'm sticking with Facebook. But other than that, I use almost all the other tools. So I use Keep, I use Notes, or I use um, all the uh, G, uh, all the uh, G Drive stuff, everything I store in in, in mm -hmm. Google, you know, pretty well dependent on on Google, even on my phone and stuff. So it, I mean, I, I'm impressed with everything else. It's just those two things I run from. I don't have anything to do with. Well, you don't have to have anything to do with because <laughs> Google is getting rid of G Plus. 
Yay. <laughs> That's what the issue was anyway. Oh, and I thought I just heard that you the, them talking that they're going to well, keep it. it's going to but again. <laughs> in inside of of but we don't know what it's going to look like. We have no, no idea. I want nothing to do with yeah. it. Yeah. So <laughs> So uh but um are you a G Suite uh user or a, a Gmail uh, yeah, Gmail for everything. Yeah, oh, but yeah. I'm not G Suite. I haven't got into. I think I've got um, some free subscription or something, but I haven't had the time to delve into it. Plus, I use a Mac, and for my mail, I use a oh. Kiwi. Uh, what's it called? Kiwi for Gmail, which divides up my mail into three separate or four or how many I want separate units, and I love that because I love to manage it like that. I don't want mm -hmm. five inboxes in one mail right. server i want totally separate mail things and that works really well for me so i haven't de delved into the g suite thing yet but i i will mm -hmm. wow um so that's that's interesting um what about anybody else what uh what um I, well of course we know that bill is uh, is already sort of okay go ahead bill <laughs> Boy, am I loving technology since moving back from Belize. <laughs> I didn't even have a phone there. But yeah, I, I use the Gmail, I use the calendar, and I use Drive the most of the time. But some of the other little things Anna mentioned it, Keep, for me, I love Keep. Yeah. My wife and I share calendars now because now we're looking after parents that have um, regular appointments and our appointments. So we can share a calendar when she knows there's a doctor's appointment, boom, I know there's a doctor's appointment. We share our grocery lists. You know, if I see something's missing, I can put it in keep. When we go grocery shopping, my job is to push the cart and to see because she's almost <laughs> blind now with her cataracts and lift the potatoes. But I can, as I, you know, check off, we pick that up. It disappears on her list. And I just use it for so many things. Wow. I agree. I use Keep for a lot of things as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> and and I think the bottom line of all of that is the connectability of the Google products, the collaboration, and that type of thing is what I think makes them so wonderful for me. Well, regardless and, of which one you use. Yes, and we were we were talking about that earlier when when you were saying that you were using uh, you had decided to use the uh, sites. And how you could connect, you know, linkages up through uh, various things, and that's one of the one of the absolute values of uh, the suite of of Google programs is how you can connect those things up, and yeah. I, I mean that just that just saves everybody so much time and and confusion and mistakes and all sorts of things. Yeah, so. Um, <clears throat> so uh, one of the the um, uh, well before I before I go to the the next thing I wanted to talk about um, did anybody else have um, what about you Fred do you use the Google products yes I do Lauren yeah um, I use like everyone else Gmail has been very helpful. Like when I'm traveling and I don't have even a computer, I can still get my email, which is wonderful. I traveled through Africa for five months and it was quite amazing. You go to an internet cafe and still see what was going on. So right. that was wonderful mm -hmm. in those days. It was quite yeah. a few years ago. And then of course, calendar, Google Drive, Google Docs, even you know, done presentations with it, shared. It just, as everyone said, mm -hmm. They've really competing with Microsoft, and I think Microsoft's hurt, so that Microsoft's tried to emulate some of that anyway by mm. getting everything online now with 360. I think it is now. Yeah. Office 360 and so on. Yeah. Well, but, uh, yeah, they're yeah. Hitting, they they just done a wonderful job. Yeah, and so you emph emphasize that piece about uh, being able to access from whatever device you happen to be using, wherever you, as long as you've got an internet connection. So. That's really, yeah. but in early days, a, lo a, a lot of us felt a little nervous about that, putting, you know, storing our stuff out there in the cloud. <laughs> that felt kind of, that, kind of scary at that's first. That's become so popular now with the cloud programs that it's now, yeah. you know, people are nervous. I mean, big organizations, 
multi-million dollar organizations are using software over the internet, everything being in the cloud now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there's, there's been so much, uh, yeah, some very popular products and, and they, they opened the, the way for it. Just trying to remember the name of the one that really seemed to have opened up, Salesforce, I think it was. Yeah. That's not the one. And then companies started using that for their salespeople and then Whoa. Just Whoa. No, yeah. almost everything yeah yeah so it's it's um i i guess what it ra raises in my mind is that there must be these incredible humongous google firms uh, uh you know where do they store all this stuff <laughs> so <laughs> i don't know has anybody ever seen a google firm <laughs> That, that, that is there have there are quite a few uh, YouTube videos where they uh, show you the Google uh, data centers oh. they take you around the data center what they do how it is maintained everything so it's, it's oh really oh I'll yeah, have I've to been, look for that go ahead I've been Jay. To a data center yeah I've been I, I've been to a data center in uh, in Kamloops um, number of years ago and it was it was wild it was really like they had like uh, uh retina scans to go into the actual server rooms and it was like just all these boxes these towers and uh air conditioning at the bottom so it was a great the floor was a great and the air conditioning the fans were shooting air cold air up to keep everything cool uh it was it was pretty wild it was amazing it wasn't a google one it was just a hosting company's uh uh, server area, one of the rooms, and uh, it was massive. It was absolutely massive. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I, I just wanted to quickly say uh, about a tool that I use that I some I feel that you know it's it's not part of the Google Suite um, per se. Well, it is, but uh, and that's Search Console. So Google Search Console that is absolutely a necessary tool for me and for my clients because uh, it tells me how people are, are landing on mine or my client's sites. And then you can determine which keywords specifically are, seem to be ranking well and seems to have a lot of exposure. And then you can add fuel to that fire, right? And, mm -hmm. and really throttle that and drive more traffic to it and create, it also allows me to create, um, you know, additional sources of, of content based on um, something called LSI keywords, which is, uh, otherwise known as related keywords. Mm -hmm. So keywords that you weren't specifically trying to rank for, but you end up ranking for it because it, the content it's you know, it's the words inside your content that mm -hmm. are helping it rank, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, the post. So that is an absolutely, uh, it's a, something that I need and I use um, daily. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, um, it's true. I, it's it. I guess it's not considered a program exactly, but it's certainly uh, for any of us that that are trying to pay attention to our traffic. It certainly is necessary. Yeah. So, um, David, what about you? Are you using all the all the Google programs? Not all of them. I I been using Drive for quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, I use Gmail not so much for email. I use it more for setting up my accounts for like YouTube and uh, things like that that I need. Um, I, I, I'm like Outlook because I can have multiple emails in one place where I can go through. When an email comes in, I can go through and see which ones of, of the emails got, got email. So that I um, otherwise I have to have, I haven't figured out how to make Google. Google, Google will do that too. If you, it's just a ma um, Gmail will do that. It's just a matter of settings. I just never learned how to do it, so yeah. I had Outlook, and that's what I used. Right. So, um, I use Hangouts a lot. Um, Hangouts on air, or just the Hangout um, texting? No, Hangouts on air. Oh. Um, and uh, um, YouTube. And what else? I think that's. Oh, I use. I am using Google Docs quite mm -hmm. a bit now. I use that to import into my websites. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it seems to be the easiest way to get formatted text into the website quickly. Um, yeah, quickly and and 
without a lot of having to do a lot of reformatting. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, hmm. that, that, and that's basically it. Yeah. Well, if you uh, ever want to uh, figure out how to uh, do it, uh, do all of that stuff in your um, Gmail, let us know. We'll with somebody there. There's several of us here know how to do it. So let us know, and we'll okay. walk you through it. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, any, anybody else have, uh, have anything else to add about what their favorite things? Um, if not, um, I'm, I'm looking at the time here. So, one of the things I, I want to, um, to, to let everybody know one of my favorite, th well, first of all, there are two things. I, like, I use Google Sheets, um, not so much for mathematical things but for lists of things and so forth because Google Sheets has a wonderful searchability or, or sortability. So if you've got um, thing, uh, even text-based things that you want to be able to sort in different ways at different times, Google Sheets is just fabulous for that. And then you can put linkages in there. Like I, I have one that, that has all of my, uh, a list of all my YouTube things, all of, of, all of my blogs, and there's linkages. I put a link in there and you can go right from there, right to the, uh, I mean, there's the example of being able to link, go from one thing to another. It's just, it's just fabulous. But the other thing that I, I, I really enjoy using and have been using a fair amount lately is uh, slides. And uh, I have, uh, for example, for today, for our, our um, Tuesday morning things, I have a script that I just have in slides and I bring up the presentation and there's my script. It's right there. And... Uh, there are a number of other things that um, that I use it for, but yesterday I wanted to share with everyone. Um, Bill and I were talking about um, you know uh, uh, slides, and um, I was showing him something that I was or talking about something that I was trying to do, and there were two things that that we that we talked about that I didn't know about that I thought were wonderful. One of them was, like, if you have found a um, um, a JPEG or a, um, a PNG file, and you th you think you want to use it on your website, but you're uncertain about whether it it's copyrighted or you don't know where it's been used before and all of that, within Google Search, if you go into um, images. There's a way to put a load that image in, and and it'll come up and show you where that image, where else on the net that image is being used. I had no idea, and I have a whole bunch of stuff that I saved on my, in my system a long time ago, and I I was saying I didn't dare use them because I didn't know, and there was a way to go and find and to see whether it it's being used elsewhere and what what you know what the background is and so you just go to uh, images.google.com yeah well i just opened opened um the the um um google page and you know the search page yeah and clicked on yeah, images right on the search page you can yeah. click on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So that was that was a great discovery for me, and I mean that's a, another um, super service that I think that Google provides. So then the other thing was um, I was talking about trying to create um, a diploma or a certificate for a program that I'm uh, I have created and I'm working on um, sort of putting it up on my website, etc. And so we went in, and Bill walked me through using sheets, so slides, I always say that backwards, slides, and we created something uh, using all the things that are available in slides, and then just turned it into a JPEG and a PNG. So um, 
I was just, um, Vivek was, um, I sent it to him and I was going to ask him to share that so you could see what we created. Are you there, Vivek? Yes, you are. So there is um, what we created. And that's a, that is a slide. And we just pulled every all everything that you see on there, except for my um, logo, which seems to have slid off the center because we did have it centered yesterday. It's one of the idiosyncrasies of slide. If you change the resolution later, your yeah. your uh, assets are going to change aspect. So yeah, that's <laughs> right. what happened. Is yeah. We created it in a four by three, and I can tell by looking at it, it's a sixteen. It's by it's nine. bigger, yeah, and. But we did everything that you see there, we found right inside of, of Google Slides. And the way we did it, just uh, so everybody knows, is in the lower right-hand corner of your slides and documents, there's a little, little button that says Explore. And if you click on Supplore, on Explore, type into the search thing what you want, it'll give you the option. Um, it'll search that based on website, based on images, or based on what's in your drive. So if you go to image, this, you know, basically there's five or six components there, I think, Roland, that we all found. We yeah, found just yeah. by searching, yeah. right? We found a blank page that we decided to um, use, and then we we found that, that little seal down in the left-hand corner, and, and we found a, a way to um, manage the, um, the um, title and and so forth so it was and and the background and choosing the colors and all of that I mean it was it was and then once you've got it done all you do is is choose to download it as a JPEG or a PNG yeah. and uh, I mean it's as as I was saying earlier for for someone who's uh, doesn't is not not wonderful at creating, um, you know, all these different programs of trying to create images and all of that. I like because I understand how how uh, slides worked. It, it was just easier for me. It's it's. I mean, it's it's not a complicated uh, issue, but I mean, for me, it just for to do something quickly in a uh, a program that I'm already familiar with is way more efficient for me than to go to a new program and learn how to do a, a, a everything. So there's an, well, a, another example. And there's been some major improvements to slides in the last six, eight months to a year. I mean, like even the title here on Certificate of Achievement, that's done with word art that wasn't available in Google Slides a year ago. So now you can put word art in there and 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 other little things that you weren't able to do before and it's yeah it's, it's pretty cool what you can do with them well we've got a we've got a pre-show video that's we're going to be releasing at some time in the future that's completely built with slides mm -hmm. yeah so i i mean it's it's just um and i i really wanted to um uh, profile this because for two reasons one of them i want to profile uh what what bill Bill has made a study of all of this, and he's really good at it. And he's a really good instructor. <laughs> he's really good at sitting with you on a, on a Zoom and sharing screen and working your way through. So I, I wanted to uh, to show this and to promote what Bill is, is moving his business into as well. So um, thank you so much, Bill. It was, uh, uh, I, as I said, we were, uh, I was a little embarrassed at the amount of time we agreed we were going to meet for a conversation and suddenly it turned into something different and I, I was worried that... <laughs> hey, well, that's because we have fun and we enjoy ourselves. So <laughs> what are we doing? I mean, we were together for three hours talking about many things. <laughs> this was really just the last 10 or 15 minutes, right? Oh, it was longer than that, Bill. <laughs> Did it really take you longer than that to create it? <laughs> well, because we tried a number. We well, actually, not this finished product. Probably mm -hmm. not. But we tried a number of things. 
So there was a, a bunch of experimentation before we yeah. we uh, hit on. But for doing templating, it's like if you have a website and you need thumbnails for your videos or something like that, it's a great way to build templates that can be easily edited for each specific topic that you cover. Yeah, well, that's um, I'm I'm glad you brought that up because uh, if you go to uh, my um, um, YouTube, uh, my thumbnail that you see on the front of every one of my YouTube is done using a slide. Right. So um, yeah, it's it's quick and easy and it's efficient. Yeah. So um, I am. Um, I'm I'm kind of wondering. I'm I'm looking also at the time. I know everybody has uh, other things that they need to do, but I'm look. Uh, I'm just wondering if um, anybody uh, out there. I mean, what what? Uh, how do you react to that? Um, do do you see a a, a usage uh, for yourself that way? <clears throat> anybody? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I like the collaboration aspect of. Um, Google Slides, where you know two people can work on one document, and yeah. you, can, you know the collaboration is actually awesome across the board with all of the Google products. You know, ranging from uh, Google Drive to Sheets to uh, you know the the word processing, you know Google Docs, all that kind of stuff. You know, and then also as what Bill was saying, the Explore option is great for research, doing research, and and finding things you know of, of such as you know, your, the template that you showed there. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, and, and I mean, finding a, finding temp, uh, creating a, uh, it's really easy to create a template. And then if it's a template, then, you know, you've, um, you've saved yourself a whole bunch more time when you, when you have to go back and use it for something else. So it's, a, I mean, it's, it's the efficiency aspect is just amazing. So, it does uh, uh, um, mentioning what Anna did uh, earlier. It, I mean, there is a little bit of a learning curve there, but it's it's worth the investment. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, any other comments before we decide that um, it's time to um, let everybody get on with their day? <laughs> No comments. So, um, what was that? Get on with your day. You mean? <laughs> no, I think everything was good. It was a good discussion today. So uh, Anna, Anna, I think had something to say. Oh, no. no? She's, just, she's just overwhelmed by all the awesome information. She's <laughs> all the awesomeness. <laughs> so, uh, just before I close, or I do, we do our closing thing, I want to let you know that um, I have a gentleman uh, lined up to come and talk to us about LinkedIn next week. So, um, he has, and I'm, I'm sorry, I should be able to say his name, but I can't say it right now. It's uh, slipped my mind. But uh, he, uh, he has a little business where he goes in and evaluates your LinkedIn pro uh, profile, looks at that in comparison to your website, and then um, does a bit of a, um, a series of recommendations on, as, as to how you might improve your, your um, profile, your uh, LinkedIn profile. So he's going to talk about that next week. So... So that's what it's going to be for next week. And so now I really want to say to, uh, to remind everyone, uh, this is my, my way of closing. Uh, my reminder is that it's important to do what you love with passion. And we shall see you next week. So. Mm -hmm.